Um, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Foursquare API. Um, so Foursquare is going to be giving us our location data. So um, let's kind of like come here and see um, what kind of data we're going to be looking for. I think we can. Um, so this is my location right now. Um, we can get locations for where we can get food. Okay, so I'm gonna click here and you see all the data um, that Foursquare gets um, um, in this neighborhood that I am in. Um, so the question is how do we consume this data from our, um, from our application? So I'm gonna go to Foursquare again and then I, you see this developer option and um, I already created an account so I'm just going to say login and uh, this client ID won't be there um, I mean, after this video you can go ahead and reset it so but um, so here we're going to come to um, our documentation okay and you see places API so let's look at what what that offers us um, you can actually come here and see the endpoints overview, uh, the API uh, so that you can, um, I mean, the kind of data that you can get. Um, and you see, um, actually from here, we actually consume in Explore. Um, so Venues Explore, this one. So we can go ahead and drill down and see how, um, I mean, the host and the path and the path the, the query params you can pass in. Um, I think what is important is um, you need the um, the category, and uh, actually um, this doesn't tell us how, how to how to uh, pass in our keys, right? The uh, um, secret the client ID and the um, client secret but we're gonna get there I think it's somewhere in, in the documentation um, but so you we're gonna need um, the location so it, this is required and uh, also this is required but I think either one is fine so let's let's see how we're gonna consume our data so let's come to um, uh, um, configuration and authentication okay um, I'm going to open this in a new tab so okay so now you see um, we can actually um, this is going to be the complete URL so you, we have the venues and we have search um, actually we are not interested in search we are interested in um, uh, explore okay but let's let's just go ahead and use this and, and see how this works um, for us. Um, the, uh, let me test this on the browser so you can uh, see um, that it, it works fine. Um, let's let's do something real quick. So I'm gonna de define my client ID. Okay, ID here. And that's gonna be all right. Let, let me open a new tab. I need to grab that. Um, first square developer. Um, create account. Sorry, I actually have an account. So client ID is this for now. And um, oops, where is it? Uh, where do I have it? Okay, right here. Um, and you have um, secret, okay, I'm going to call it client secret. Okay. I think that is going to be this. Oops. All right. All right, actually, oh, const, 
you know what to avoid wasting time here yeah, i'm gonna create a folder okay um let me create a folder here and i'm gonna call it api okay and here let's just go ahead and create a file and call it um, locations.js okay um right here um let's go ahead and use fetch okay um it's actually only available in the browser let's copy this here um and let's copy this our client secret um it's gonna be const okay and um, um so let's use this and we're gonna say fetch um let's fetch that Client, we're gonna use that client to, and then we're gonna do then okay. The response, I'm not gonna go into the details of using fetch okay, but basically, you have to return the response of JSON first, and then you're gonna do another then. Then I'm gonna call this result, and it's gonna be the actual JSON object that we get okay. Let's console.log that result okay and um we need to change certain things here so here let's pass in our actual client id okay and let's pass in our actual um client secret and this version Okay, um, actually, if you come back to the API, I think there's a place where it says you have to pass in the version. Or maybe it's going to default. I think it's not required, but let's just go ahead and try this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove this version. Let's try this. Okay. Um, the first client uh, this object actually is only available in the browser so I'm gonna have to test on the browser first here before we go ahead and use it in our app and it says clients not, not defined okay yep let's copy everything here and do it again and client ID has already been declared oh you're right um, let me clear this actually let me use let okay um let me if client id is already declared it doesn't want me to declare it again so let me just run this client secret is not defined ah, interesting now let's let's test this out All right, so we have that, and we have the Foursquare API no longer supports request overview versioning. Okay, so I think that that is requiring us to put a version. Let's 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 put a version. It's gonna be let's say twenty eighteen. Month eleven oh one. I don't know why that is required. All right. I think they actually want that version. Okay. So, um, and I just said that to November twenty eighteen November one. Um, so you you see our response, right? So basically, we are getting data, right? But it's kind of like not the api we want i mean we can use it but basically for our neighborhood app we're interested in um i mean i'm interested in what's going on um a, sp a specific category um so i'm going to come back here and try to adjust my uh my my url to something like this so we're using um foursquare explorer i think the api it's actually foursquare v2 venues explorer so from here 
right? I'm going to go ahead and copy this or just change it from here. Um, so venues and I have explore. This is required. The longitude latitude is required unless near is provided. Okay. So it's either or the other. So if you provide this, you don't have to provide this one. And if you provide this, you don't have to provide this one. So let's go ahead and just provide um, near. So I'm going to change instead of having um, the location, I'm going to change this to near. Okay. I'm going to say near where I am. And actually you can, you can always change this dynamically in your app, but in this project, we're just going to limit it to a particular location. You can put uh, Maryland or you can put some, whatever city you're in. Um, but this should work. Um, so let's try it in our browser and see that it's working. Um, so we have category. Okay. So let's go ahead and add that also category food. Let's just put category equals to, because we are searching by particular category. Let's just put food also. Um, oh, I don't need, I don't need this actually. And this should work. Okay. Um, be interesting it doesn't work and still 404 okay so why am i getting the 404 this time i shouldn't be getting a 404 oh i actually don't need this search my bad because um i actually ha i'm using this api um explore venues explore and actually i don't need this um I didn't remove these from the last one we tried out. <clears throat> okay, so this should work. Um, all right, great. So it this works, and we have our locations right here in groups, and this is our location. So these are all the places we can actually come to get food. Um, now we have. Let's look at what we have here I think this may be hold um, because now the latest data they're giving us has newer so we have flying fish here right so let's see we have we have flying fish and we have this other two which may actually be new locations that just got added um, yeah so that is it that is how you use um, you use uh, Foursquare here instead of consoling that games go ahead and return um no that's just return um let's map this to result dot um dot work i think it's uh we have uh so these are response object and we have response and we have groups okay so the, the response dot groups that's what we are interested in and we have an and then yeah i think that should be what we're interested in let's console dot log this um see what that gives us <coughs> Okay, so now we have um, our object. Now we have um, the f it's an array, but only contains one element. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Get that array, and then you're gonna get the items in there uh, inside that array. So I'll say dot items. Okay, and let's try that again. See. All right, so now here is the list of locations that we're going to be using in our React in our neighborhood app. app.
And also note that um, it's defaulting to 30 uh, elements. You can always um, get more more locations if you want by adding the right par um, query parent. But I think 30, 30 will be enough for the app we are building, so I wouldn't worry about that. Um, let's just go ahead and return, return this. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put this in a function. So I'm just going to say get locations function. And actually, if you want to make the near um, the city dynamic, right? You can always pass city in here, and then you can always change this dynamically, um, depending on you know you, if you want to scale your app to multiple cities. Um, but anyway, that's beyond the scope of this project. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, return this. Okay, so I'm not consoling anymore. I already know what I'm getting back. And uh, let's make this uh, ES6. So let's just say this equals to that. That's our function. And let's go ahead and export export um, this okay so now we are exporting um, our locations okay get locations and now we, be, we are going to be able to use that data in our components and that will be the talk of the next um, section